The aroma given off by some foods can have a tremendous effect on us. The scents and colours that make food look appetising are the effect of a group of chemicals called melanoidins. These form from an extremely complex series of reactions from amino acids and sugars. This process is called the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction is responsible for all sorts of colours and flavours and is even the chemistry behind some self-tanning products. There are several factors that will affect the rate at which the Maillard reaction takes place. Temperature, for instance, and pH. Let's look at these two pans of onions frying. The colour and aroma of fried onions is due to the Maillard reaction. The pan on the left has a sprinkling of salt as a control, while the pan on the right has a similar amount of sodium hydrogen carbonate, a weak alkali. Look what happens to the colours of the two batches of onions. In this next experiment, we are going to combine several different amino acids with a sugar and then investigate the resulting products. We will need a selection of amino acids. In this experiment, we are just using the one sugar, glucose, but you can certainly try others. Label a series of test tubes using a waterproof marker. In each tube, put a small amount of an amino acid. Then add the same amount of glucose to each one before adding distilled water. Having seen what happened with the onions, to make sure the reaction happens in a relatively short time, we're going to make the solution alkaline by adding a small amount of sodium carbonate. Cover the top of each tube with some aluminium foil and put them in a beaker of boiling water. Leave them in the water for 10 minutes. If we look at the tubes, we can clearly see that many have changed colour, going various shades of yellow-brown. This is due to the melanoidins. It is possible to get quantitative data for this reaction by using a colorimeter to measure the intensity of the colour. There is more to Maillard reactions than just colour. One of the most important effects is the production of new aromas. If you smell the tubes, you'll definitely smell some familiar smells, depending on the amino acids. Valine smells like bread, phenylalanine produces a floral scent, and glutamic acid smells of popcorn. My name is Daniela Forbes. I'm a freelance chef for Quality Meat Scotland. Quality Meat Scotland work with the Scottish red meat industry to improve its efficiency and profitability in Scotland's economy. As a chef, the Maillard reaction is really important because we're always trying to achieve the best colour, taste and aroma with our food. So the Maillard reaction is responsible for the lovely golden caramel colour that we achieve on foods such as meat and vegetables. Anything which is cooked and has a brown colour has involved the Maillard reaction at some stage. Uh, we would expect food, for example, meat, crisps, peanut butter. We want them to have a lovely brown, golden colour. Uh, if they were pale, they wouldn't have the same appeal. In terms of what I would recommend for pursuing a career in the food industry, I think there's, there's so many different areas that you could actually go down and so many job opportunities. Chefing, obviously, is quite an obvious one, and it's what I do, but there are many, many other fields in the food industry. If you did want to get into chefing, what I would say is get some experience in a commercial kitchen. It's not for everybody, it's quite stressful, it's quite intense. Um, if you were more technically or scientifically minded, then there are many, many different fields of work within the red meat industry, but also within the food production industry.